you know, that's exactly why I came out here tonight. Disrespect. That seems to be the story of my career. Disrespect from not only all of you people, everybody in the back, everybody in this promotion. Let me give you people a little history lesson. In 2002, in NWA Wildside, I started coming to this place. I was the referee. I used to drive four hours all the way from Alabama and back every week, twice on Saturday. And just like all these people, I got no respect. I worked my way all the way up from the freaking bottom to the WWE. TNA, WWE, I was on freaking WrestleMania. That's better than anybody back there, anybody in the freaking South has done. And I did it all by myself. But I still get no respect. What is it? Oh, yeah. Where, why is it? Where did nobody comes to me for their match? Nobody asks me for advice. It's oh, look at Mike Posey. Look at the cute little referee. Oh, he's wrestling now. He's trying to wrestle. I got more talent in my little finger than that whole locker room. Which brings me to my next point. Let's look at all the stars that have come out of this building. How about AJ Styles, huh? Yeah. How many WrestleManias has he been on, huh? None. What about Consequences Creed, huh? He's not even on TV right now. I am the biggest star to ever set foot in this building and ever come out of this building. And I demand respect. Respect from... Respect from you people and respect from that so-called crappy owner, Franklin Dove. So Franklin, if you're not too busy playing on your Twitter or sucking up to your buddies back there, why don't you come out here and demand, I demand you come out here and show me some respect. Suck it up and get in the ring, old man. Now, Franklin, 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 I am the biggest star to come out of this building, and I demand respect. Respect from you, respect from these people. Hey, look at me, old man. Put your freaking phone up and look at me. Why don't you set the taste? I demand right now. I'm not on the posters, I'm not on the website, I'm not even on your Twitter. You put me in a main event match tonight, make it happen. I am a busy man and I don't have time for people like you and all of these people that come here to see you. But you seem to have a problem with me and my pals and my buddies on Twitter. And you want a main event tonight? What I would want is to just saw off and slap the snot out of you like I did in November. But I'm not going to do that because I've got a best friend in this building and he's coming down that ramp. Making 
his way down the aisle. Well, Mike Posey might have just asked the wrong thing to our hey, end of the end you want an opportunity? You think about that the next time, opportunity to let you in this ring. The phrase, be careful what you wish for, is forefront on my mind. TNA's Gunner, Phil Shatter, certainly the history reigns supreme here in the NWA Anarchy Arena. And Phil Shatter making his way back. Friends in high places, apparently from Franklin Dove, using the cell phone at any point to call one of his friends in. And Mike Posey making his way out might have been biting off just a little more than he could chew. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, standing out on the floor from Birmingham, Alabama, weighing in at 160 pounds, Mike Posey. And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 243 pounds, Gunner! And what a big surprise we have. Hey, I was waiting for the, the ring introduction from Brett Wolverton. Indeed, this was a matchup. And, and going over all the locations, the weights and everything, you've got Mike Posey in the ring taking on TNA's Gunner. And as I was mentioning to the fans at home, I feel like Mike Posey might have bit off a little more than he had planned to chew. Well, he said he wanted one of Franklin Dove's boys, if you will. And they got certainly one of the biggest ones of the bunch in Gunner. Boy, that's for sure. Wow, the, the ovation that... Gunner received, making his way back here. And certainly the fans here at NWA Anarchy remember all the history. Back wrestling as Phil Shatter here in NWA Anarchy. The accolades that this man has received. It goes on and on. The, the list could go on for days. And, and what a great way to see him back here in the NWA Anarchy ring. And Mike Posey, you know, certainly... You can't take really much away from him. He, he was touching on earlier in regards to him being a referee, and a lot of uh, wrestlers in the back don't come up to him and ask for advice for his matches. But, you know, I certainly would have to say he's come a long ways over the years and really improved time and time again. But we're going to really have to see just how much he has improved because he's going to have to bring out every possible arsenal out of the bag of tricks, and you're going up against the likes of TNA's Gunner. Well, Mike Posey certainly has the credentials. I mean, how many wrestlers can say that they're Jimmy Rave approved? Well, that's true, and he, and he certainly makes no bones about mentioning that he's been in WrestleMania before as well, something that even TNA's Gunner hasn't done. So we certainly have ourselves, oh, wow, head first goes Mike Posey into the steel chair. Have a seat, Mike Posey. Absolutely. I'm not sure what that's going to taste like, whether it's steel or something else, but either way, steel is going to be met yet again from the likes of TNA's Gunner. And Gunner making his way back in as well to break the count up. And, and what a week this has been. I, I can't even, what a way to open the show. We've got TNA's Gunner making an appearance. That's why you just never know from watching NWA Anarchy what's going to happen from week in and week out. If, if you have not told your friends yet all about us, you certainly need to do so as we pave our way to the road of hardcore hell coming up very soon. You know, and if you have friends that are in an area that does not show NWA Anarchy on your local networks, check us out online, nwaanarchy.net. You can watch our shows there. Absolutely. Our television broadcast goes around the country and the world, but you don't have to watch us on TV. You can still check us out on the Internet as well, too, nwaanarchy.net. And Mike Posey doing a little begging right at the moment, but lulled TNA's Gunner in for that one opportunity. And now let's see how he's going to be able to capitalize. Hip toss from Gunner. And Gunner's just waiting for him as well, too. Scoops him up. One hand. And slams him right back down, right on the back. And Mike Posey's kind of reeling in on that the, the paint of the back, holding on. Irish whip into the corner. Follows him up. High up in the lights. 
And lands yet again on the back. Goes in for the cover. One. Only able to get a one count, which is pretty impressive. Arm drag takedown into the arm bar. I have to say, at least for Mike Posey. He is just, Gunner is just throwing Mike Posey around like he's nothing. I, I said in my introductions, Mike Posey weighed in this afternoon at 160 pounds. That's 160 pounds. He's tossing around like it's a five pound bag of sugar. Yeah, absolutely. And if I think if Mike Posey knew that in, uh, Gunner was going to actually be involved in this match, he might not have been eating salads as much as he might have been eating some steaks. At least try and bulk up a little bit more because you're going to need some type of advantage when you're going up against Gunner. And you really see that Gunner Matt wrestling Mike Posey right here. Going into that, that hammer lock, holding it and, and cinching it and asking if Mike Posey is, is going to give up, but Mike Posey saying no. But still, doesn't doesn't stop the referee from again asking him. The Gunner certainly having some fun here, and I think it's been long overdue to have someone shut up Mike Posey. One of the biggest workouts that Mike Posey gets when he's in the ring is running his mouth. Running his mouth and jumping to conclusions, two of the things he's best at. Yeah, that's for sure. He does that very well, but he's not going to be doing too much right at the moment except trying to weasel his way out of this matchup, or at least, you know, I'm sure he's going to wish that he had Jimmy Rave approved here to have someone to tag in to get out of this match quickly because of the one-on-one -on -one competition, there's really nowhere for him to go at the moment. Oh, he's going to break it three, and then smartly, you know, we may not agree with the tactics, but i got to give Mike Posey credit. You need to be able to slow the tempo down because there's not much you're going to be able to do in the ring against Gunner. Gunner going on the outside there, not allowing Mike Posey to regroup. And good good ring work there from Mike Posey, catching Gunner with a drop kick. Oh, and then the back, meeting right against the apron there, and then going to do it again against the steel and continuing to do it against the ring. And Mike Posey might want to be hoping for a count out here, and, and referee Ken Wallace is up to five at this point. He's up to six. You know, if there was any superstar that's going to know how to bend the rules, it's a wrestler that's been a referee. They know the rules. They know how to bend them in their favor. Yeah, absolutely. And Mike Posey doesn't have the size that Gunner has, but he does have the, the referee ringmanship, and not to mention what he's done and learned at the hands of Jimmy Rave. So when you factor all those together, that certainly helps him go up against someone like Gunner. But when you've got Gunner's size and, of course, experience as well, it's what makes it a very interesting matchup here. Cover's been made, barely even a one. Gunner kicks right back out again. Leg drop. And we, we see those rapid fire leg drops time and time again from Mike Posey. And what, wow. Split leg drop. Yeah, That's doing the cool. split nonetheless. He might want to split after this match. Get the heck out of Dodge if he can. And Mike Posey doing that head scissors there right, right around Gunner. And that's a good way to really slow down the tempo there. And that's exactly what Mike Posey needs to do. And he also needs to be able to figure out where he's going to go from from here. As Mike Posey squeezes his legs over around the neck and head of Gunner, it's cutting off the blood flow. It makes it difficult for the oxygen stuff to get to the brain. You know, it, it takes away all of Gunner's concentration and will eventually start to put him to sleep. That's true. Well, one thing you got to think about too, though, or at least if you're Gunner, yeah, the, the momentum might be kind of going his way, but when you're Jimmy Rave approved, you're never far behind from helping your other fellow members out. And the power right there just shows you from Gunner being able to pick up Mike Posey completely from the mat. The Enziguri, now can Mike Posey follow up with a one? Still only able to get those one counts, and you know that's going to be frustrating, Mike. He's continue, Mike Posey is continuing to wear away at Gunner, not letting him stay up to a vertical base because he knows he's got the disadvantage when Gunner's standing straight up. You know, he doesn't have the height that Gunner does, so to keep him down at his level, he's working his own style of match here. You know, he, he's got it under control at this point. Yeah, and Mike Posey certainly would be a, a great contender for that television championship, and we're going to see coming up very soon in our main event the four-way matchup to determine the Hardcore Hell TV title match opponent coming up at Hardcore Hell. So the winner of that matchup is going to get up, go on and win the shot and the opportunity for that TV championship at Hardcore Hell. But before we get to that, right now we've got Gunner in the ring taking on a Mike Posey. And he's certainly been having his way with him. Slingshot back. And now is Gunner going to go for the cover? And he does. Hooks the leg as well. Two. Two count. And, you know, a lot of fans are really impressed, as always, with Gunner, but I've got to be kind of impressed with Mike Posey because Mike Posey has only been allowing Gunner to get those one or two count opportunities. Wow, the strength picking him straight up in the air and holding him. And just count with me. 
How long? Oh, and it drops him back behind him. All the height and the gravity takes its place as Mike Posey crashes down hard to the mat. Gunner just picked up a 160-pound man in a bench press like he was a bunny rabbit. Wow, yeah, and I haven't seen too many bunny rabbits getting pressed, but I'll certainly take your word for it. Although, Easter not too far away. Wow, great move there. Mike Posey going to go in for the cover as well. Not, this time not hooking the leg, and that might have been his downfall. As you can tell, the match is wearing on. He was only able to get a two count out of that, but that was the first time we've seen a two count for Mike Posey, and the rest have been one count so far. Yeah, so absolutely. He down gunner. Oh, the Alabama jam off the top rope. He connects it. And Mike Posey's going to go in for the cover. Didn't hook the leg again this time either. Oh, my God. Out of the ring. Strength of Gunner. I think Gunner got a second win. And if that's a second win, it was almost like a thing of a tornado coming through because Mike Posey dumped all the way in the middle of the rope, all the way onto the outside here. Now, I've seen a kick out before, or, but that's a kick out of him. I, I, I think Mike Posey may have just awakened a sleeping giant. Uh, Posey going back up to the top rope. Mike Posey trying to do a high cross body, but again, the strength of Gunner catches him. And what are we going to see here? He sets him up. Oh, man, and plants him again. Hooks the leg and gets the three. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Gunner. Well, not surprisingly, a great showing for TNA's Gunner. But to me, a part of the story that comes out of this is Mike Posey did a valiant effort by holding on and really kind of taking it to Gunner, and especially all those falls, only able to get a one or two count a lot of the match against Mike Posey. So he certainly hats off, got to be as well to Mike Posey. Fans, we've got more on the way. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>